Hey, my name is Polly Perkins. I'm a utility analyst with the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission's Wastewater Department. Uh, I'm here to talk today about the Viz Valley Green Nodes. Um, this is one of the eight green infrastructure projects going in uh, as part of phase one of our 20-year sewer system improvement program. Uh, this is a piece of our green infrastructure puzzle that's going to get us towards the citywide goal to manage 1 billion gallons of stormwater with green infrastructure citywide by 2050. Prior to the implementation of this project, most of the stormwater and rainwater that fell in the surrounding areas, like the streets and the sidewalks, went straight to the sewer system. But we designed this project to actually intercept that stormwater. We have a big inlet on the street that's going to collect that stormwater from the street and the sidewalk and use the natural processes of soils and plants to absorb it, thereby reducing stormwater flows to our combined sewer system and restoring some of the natural function of this watershed, including groundwater recharge. At this site, we've installed tiered rain gardens. So the water's coming in at the northernmost point, and it's actually gonna cascade through this, these rain gardens, tiered rain gardens. And as you can see, there are a number of community benefits that these projects provide in addition to those stormwater benefits. We have educational opportunities here. We're encouraging pedestrian walkthrough at the bottom of Claren Park, and also beautification and habitat creation. So right now our plants are just installed, our little baby plants, and we want them to grow up to be big and healthy and strong. So we're gonna maintain some site protection here, including some of the fencing, until the plants have grown through their establishment period. And then we're gonna open this part of the park up probably in early 2019. We estimate that this project is at least gonna capture 600,000 gallons of stormwater per year from an acre and a half of the watershed. Hello again, here we are at the second site of the Viz Valley Green Nodes project. Here we're at the corner of Rutland and Sunnydale. Based on the feedback from the public outreach portion of this project during planning design, we heard from the surrounding community that they were very concerned about pedestrian safety and having more community space. Here we're combining those pe pedestrian safety benefits with stormwater management benefits, which is the goal of the sewer system improvement program to reduce stormwater flows to the combined sewer system. So this project is a great example of how we can manage stormwater and bring benefits to our community. Here we have bulb outs that make pedestrians more visible to road traffic and also promotes them to slow down. And then we also have this new improved plaza that drains into this rain garden. So it's also being managed. These cutouts in the road allow for the stormwater to flow into these rain gardens where it can be absorbed and naturally filter into the groundwater table rather than go straight to our sewer system. So we're reducing the amount of water that's going to our system. We're cleaning that water before it goes into the groundwater table and we're re restoring some of the natural functions of this watershed. When there's lots of stormwater that flows into these rain gardens at a very fast rate during large storms, we are getting some of that natural process, but we also have the backup of the drain in the back of this rain garden, so it's connected to the sewer system in case it needs to overflow during large storms. The rain gardens at this site are going to manage at least 180,000 gallons of stormwater per year from half an acre of the nearby impervious surfaces, such as these streets and sidewalks. Thanks for tuning in to learn more about our Viz Valley Green Nodes Green Infrastructure Project, uh, part of phase one of our sewer system improvement program. To learn more about green infrastructure in your neighborhood, go to sfwater.org slash sfwatersheds.